Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to talk about the get, how to get the data from file in Power BI desktop. Okay, but before that, if you do not have a Power BI downloaded in your computer, then you can go to the Google search bar and write down Power BI download and you will see the first link from the Microsoft Power BI. You can click on that and it will bring you to uh, the location where you can download the Power BI desktop. Now, uh, if you click on the advanced download option and you can see the, 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 the you can choose the language if you wanted to change. By default, it's on English. And then you can see the detail about the Power BI desktop version. Uh, just check on the system requirements that whatever the system you have 32 bit or 64 bit download that accordingly okay and then once you have the um, power bi downloaded in your computer then open it and you can see the for uh, the home screen on the power bi desktop like this let me give you a little intro here uh, about the Power BI desktop that on the left pane, left hand side, you can see the three buttons here. The first one is report view. The second one is table view where you can see the uh, table. Once the table is downloaded, then you can see that data here. The, on the report view, you can create the report. And the third one on the model view, once you have a table here, you can see that table. If you have more table, then you can see those all tables on the model view okay on the report page there will be a one page open and if you want more pages on your report you can keep adding on them on the top section you can see the similar look as a uh, microsoft excel and you can uh, see the all the options um, on the right hand side then you have a filter pane where if you wanted to filter your report one page or all pages of the report then you can uh, use or you can add the field here whatever the field you wanted to filter on and uh, you can see that data filtered on your report beside that you have a visualization page and you can see that all default visuals are here you can use them for your report and beside that you have a data pane where once you have a data in Power BI desktop then you can see that uh, tables and data here okay so uh, let's get started so uh, usually in your day-to-day -day, um, uh, work uh, people get the data from flat file uh, files as well uh, sometimes from relational database, sometimes for social media or whatever. So today we are going to see uh, how to get the data from flat file. So first of all, what is the flat file? So the flat file is a type of a file that has only one data table and every row of data is in the same structure. The file does not contain any hierarchical data. Okay. These files are usually like CSV file, text file, or Microsoft uh, Excel workbook, okay? The second important thing here is the file location, where the file is saved. So uh, usually people in organization use a OneDrive or SharePoint where uh, they have a file saved. You can also get the data from the local, like in your computer, saved in some folder. So when you get the uh, file from the uh, locally from your computer, then Power BI Desktop does not uh, stay linked with that file. So Power BI Desktop create the data set and load it into the Power BI Desktop, and meaning of that is uh, the file will not refresh if you update the local flat file once you created a report okay 
Instead of that, if you use a OneDrive for business, then you can uh, pull the data from there. And whenever you update or um, you have more data in that flat file, then your Power BI report or dashboard also going to refresh uh, with the new data. So that is the beauty of using a OneDrive. You can also use a OneDrive personal. Uh, however, you will need to sign in with your personal OneDrive account and select the keep me signed in option. So that, that's the way you can go on to get a fresh data. Okay. You can also use a SharePoint. Uh, usually in organizations, teams have their SharePoint location and they save flat files there so everybody can use it. And the main purpose of that is also uh, whenever they update the flat file, then uh, they have a fresh data in their report and dashboard as well. Uh, you can specify a URL uh, for the SharePoint and it's going to take the data from there. Okay, so let's see how um, you can get the data in Power BI Desktop. In our case today, we are going to get the data from the local uh, flat file. Okay, so from this data uh, option, I'm going to click on the get data. And you can see here the common data sources. Uh, I'm going to click on more though to see, to view all, all the data sources. You can click on the file. You can see all options here. We are going to click on the file and we are going to click on the Excel workbook because my data is in Excel workbook. Okay. And click connect. Now I have a six months of monthly sales data here. So I'm going to click on sales Jan 2011 file here and click on open. So we have that file here and I have only worksheet only one worksheet uh, in the file and when you click on this checkbox you can see on your right hand side you can see the preview of that file and you have three options load transform data and cancel load gonna to load this uh, table straight away into power bi desktop and the transform is going to allow you to to view that data uh, in Power Query. So if you wanted to make any changes, then you can make it. And third one is cancel. So I'm going to use a transform data to, to let me view my data in my um, Power Query. Okay. So this is a Power Query. Uh, let me give you a little intro here as well. So on your left hand side, you have queries pane. In our case, we have only one query or one uh, table. And so you can see that here. You can double click on that. And if you wanted to change the name, let's say I'm going to change it to test data. And name is changed now. Okay. On the bottom left, you can see that it shows how many columns it has and how many rows this table has. Beside that, the, there is a text you can see here that column profiling based on top uh, 1000 rows. If you click on that, there is another option as well that column profiling based on entire data set. Uh, usually I click on this when I have more than 1000 rows. Um, right now I do not have so I'm going to leave it there. And then you have all these uh, options to transform if you wanted to split the column or group by. If you wanted to uh, remove rows, uh, remove columns, so manage uh, your columns or rows. Or if you wanted to get new query or anything you can do here. For this video, I'm going to just show you uh, quick things here that it, let's say the first column product key is selected and if I click on this remove column, 
If I wanted to, like if I choose this remove other columns and if I click that, then it, it removed all other columns in table and leave it with only one product A column which was selected. And if you noticed here on your right hand side, the query settings and then there is a properties uh, and there is a second um, uh, title here is applied steps. It added one step here, removed other columns. So whatever we do in Power Query, it is going to add that step here. And later on, if you do not want that, then you can click on this red cross and it will um, undo that step. So going to give you your previous position. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And I have all columns back. Okay, so for now, for this video, I'm happy with the data and I'm going to close and apply now. So close and apply and it, it got me here in Power BI desktop again and it's loading. And you can see that test data table here and if you click on this arrow, you can see all the columns here. Okay, on the left hand side. Report view is not showing anything because we didn't use any visual to build any report. On the table, you can see that that table is showing up here now uh, with all columns. Okay, on the model view, you can see only one table because we have only one table in the model view. Now quickly go to the report and you can maybe, let's say, we can use this visual to see our data. Let's see, we can see that sales data on the y-axis and the order date on the x-axis. And quickly you can see this data. Okay. Now when you have a visual on it, you will see other tabs as well. So format your visual for example, and you can format your visual here, okay? For example, data labels, let, let me put it on. So you can see your labels, your data labels, okay? And there is another option here, add further analysis to your visual. You can use that as well, okay? There is another thing here I wanted to mention that if you go on the queries, and this transform data, uh, click on that little arrow and you have this option data source setting. If you click on that, it shows you your current path to the flat file. If you wanted to change the location of the flat file, then you can change the source and, um, and give your new path here or browse that file here and click OK. And so you will have a new path set up for this report. Okay. So um, that is all uh, for today, guys. Uh, we thank you for watching. And if you like the content, then please comment, like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next video.